Welcome to Aurora Chemistry for everyone. In this video, let us analyze molecular geometry of PCL3 molecule based on VACPR theory, valence shell electron pair repulsion theory. According to VACPR theory, the shape of a molecule depends upon the number of valence shell electron pairs around the central atom. These electron pairs repel each other due to negatively charged. They try to minimize the repulsion so that they maximize the distance between them. Among the repulsion, lone pair lone pair repulsion is greater than lone pair bond pair and bond pair bond pair repulsion. Here you can see that number of formulas. Using that, let us try to predict that molecular geometry of PCL3 molecule based on VSEPR theory. Total number of electron pairs around central atom is equal to half into Vc plus Tmc. Vc valence electron of central atom, Tmc total monovalent atom attached to the central atom. Here in PCL3 molecule, phosphorus is the central atom because when compared to the chlorine, the phosphorus electronegativity is very less. Chlorine is the monovalent atom which is attached to the phosphorus. Bond pair is equal to total atom attached to the central atom. Then lone pair is equal to total electron pair around the central atom minus total bond pairs. So let us try to find out that total number of electron pair around phosphorus. So total electron pair is equal to half into Vc valence electron of central atom phosphorus atomic number 15. So that the number of valence electrons 5. So 5. Then how many chlorine atoms are attached here? 3 chlorine atom. So 5 plus 3. So half into 5 plus 3, 8. So 8 by 2, 4. So the number of total number of electron pairs around the phosphorus is 4. So now we can try to find out that bond pair. Bond pair is equal to total atom attached to the central atom. Here there are three chlorine atoms are attached. So bond pair is three. So once we find out that total electron pair and bond pair, now using the formula we can find out lone pair. Lone pair is equal to total electron pair around central atom minus total bond pair. Already we got the total electron pair four. Then bond pair three. So four minus three, one lone pair in PCL3 molecule. Using this information, we can predict that the molecular type of the molecule, whether it is AB or AB2, AB3, L. Here, A represents the central atom and B represents that atom attached to the central atom and L represents the lone pair. In PCL3 molecule, we have only one central atom, phosphorus, so A. And there are three chlor chlorine atoms attached to that, so AB3 and that number of lone pair only one. So the molecular type is AB3L. Look at the table here. If the molecular type is AB3L, it means if there are three bond pair and one lone pair, then that electron pair arrangement is tetrahedral. But due to the lone pair of electrons, that molecular geometry is trigonal pyramidal. Theoretically, it should be tetrahedral but due to the presence of the lone pair electron lone pair and bond pair repulsion is greater so that is the reason the shape of trigonal pyramidal bcl3 molecule the actual shape is trigonal pyramidal in bcl3 molecule the molecular type is ab3l and the total electron pair present around the central atom 4 and bond pair 3 and there is only one lone pair is present. The electron pair arrangement is tetrahedral but due to this lone pair the actual shape is trigonal pyramidal. Thanks for watching.